Fort City Council is delaying its approval of new voting locations for city elections. It's an issue that has loomed over the council for more than a year. And today's delay marks the fourth time the council's kicked the issue down the road, but a deadline from the circuit clerk is now putting pressure on the city to make a decision. Noah Noble is following this story and joins us live with what you need to know tonight. Well, Gulf Force assistant city attorney telling council members today time is running out and this issue of new voting precincts can't be delayed any longer. Despite that warning, city council members today still finding issues and pushing back the vote. I would insist that you work this week, today, tomorrow, Thursday, to have this done by Friday so that legal can then codify it again and bring it back to us on a special meeting next week because we cannot continue. This has been one year since it was first brought to us. One year. Ward 4 Councilman Rusty Walker telling his fellow council members a decision needs to be made by next week. This issue of new polling locations first came up more than a year ago when the city of Gulfport redrew district lines, shifting the boundaries of its seven wards. The new voting locations were drafted by Gulfport Assistant City Attorney Margaret Murdoch. Four of the council members did not have issues with the changes. Ward 5 Councilman Miles Sharp wants to see the community center on Switzer Road added as a polling location. Ward 6 Councilman Arlie Flowers wants to have a split precinct to allow some residents of Ward 4 to vote at the Orange Grove Community Center. But Ward 2 Councilwoman Ella Holmes Hines was the most vocal. In the proposal, she would lose Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church as a polling location in favor of Good Deeds Community Center. She worries that the venue change will deter voters. The church's pastor agrees. We want to protect our, our people there uh, from voter suppression. All right, so Noah, do we know why these new locations were selected and what will happen if the city misses that upcoming July 31st deadline? Well, Hugh, there was three criteria used to select those locations. First, it had to be centrally located to the residents. Second, it prioritized government-owned buildings like community centers over privately owned buildings like churches. And third, it tried consolidating city voting locations with county voting locations because typically where a person votes in city elections is a different location than where they vote during county, state, or even federal elections. July 31st is the deadline for this set by the circuit clerk. However, there is a small window in January. If they don't make a decision during next Tuesday's meeting in January, there is a small window where they could get the state's approval, but that's cutting it pretty close to the local election season. Live in Gulfport, I'm Noah Noble for WLOX News Now.